Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So if you've been following our videos, you'll know that we're here in Poland and we've been traveling around the country for the last couple of months. Right now we are here in Krakow and we actually have been filming some videos, but just with the, uh, with the current events, we just didn't feel like uploading them basically. So we just kind of have been laying off, um, you know, posting videos to our channel. But we have been still doing things over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we did a Segway tour around Krakow. Oh. Oh, lean forward. Okay. It goes backwards if you don't lean forward. Okay. Are you from Ireland? Yes. Nice. From, from Dublin. Dublin, yeah. Probably take us a while to get used to it. <laughs> Spinning around. <laughs> also been sampling some of the nightlife in the Jewish quarter in Krakow called Kashi Mersh. And we also visited a cat cafe. Thanks. Oh my and he's gone. gone. <laughs> but with the current situation with Poland's neighbours Ukraine and with the amount of Ukrainians entering Poland in order to flee the war, in this video we're just going to document what's been going on here and the incredible response from the Polish people towards um, what is actually happening in Ukraine. Uh, it's a main station, they are waiting for the buses, for the trains to okay, move yeah. on, go further. Yeah. But our city is really overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure if you've all seen the news, Poland are doing an absolutely incredible yeah, job, aren't amazing. they here? It's really amazing. Um, down at the main train station in Krakow, there's an area set up with a lot of different voluntary work. Mm. So there's different stations set up with like one station is for baby supplies, baby yeah. food, nappies. Yeah, hygiene products and things hygiene like that. And then they kind of have other sections for food and for water and for blankets and clothes and things like that. Uh, there's also a station that's uh, specifically for pets. So mm -hmm. we've seen a lot of people coming in from the Ukraine with um, dogs and cats. So they're able to get supplies at, at various stations around the uh, around the train station yeah. so it's it's really amazing work what's been going on here yeah. hasn't it? some soup kitchens yeah food stalls just just everyone coming together and the work that's been done yeah, is yeah. actually SIM just amazing cards as well i've seen kind of people uh handing out or sorting out sim cards for people so they can use their phones like so they're trying to cover all angles you know in such a in such a terrible situation the yeah. the response has been incredible so yeah it really yeah. has been incredible mm. and uh, we're gonna go down now to Krakow main train station just to show you what's going on down there the mm. different organizations that set up and just to show you what it's like Okay, so yeah, we are in Krakow train station. We have been here many times. Obviously, we've been in Krakow for a while now, but it's very, very different at the minute. They have an organized area, I think it's platform four, and they are just a lot of organizations here helping uh, the people. They're handing out food, supplies, medicine, things like that. So an awful lot of people here. All of their belongings are with them. They're just kind of camped out and just trying to find, I suppose, the next place to go or some help or or whatever. But it's it's just it, it's it's kind of hectic. It's kind of chaotic, but. The amount of people here helping in the organisation, it's kind of, it's just a testament to the people of Poland that they're, that they're helping out so much. There's so many people, volunteers, you see them in the high-vis jackets and they've just gone around with baskets of food, uh, handing them out. 
I've seen people just hand over money, cash money to to the uh, to the refugees who are just sort of sitting around. Um, yeah, it's just it's crazy. Also as well, the uh, the tickets for the trains are just there. The queues are massive. Obviously, a lot of people have come here to Krakow, or they've left the Ukraine and managed to get to Krakow, and now they're probably going to go off to another another destination. So the tickets for the trains are uh, are quite long. But yeah, it's just it's a lot. It's a lot of people just kind of sitting around. There's dogs, there's cats, kids, and everyone just has. Literally, it looks like everything they own, just beside them in suitcases and in bags. People have donated like baby seats and there's water, there's food, there's people down there and they're making soup and yeah. There's also a lot of people holding signs up in the air. Um, I, can't, I can't make out what it what it what it says, what it means. I think it's in Polish or Ukrainian. Um, and then there's people going over to them. So I'm sure it might be something like, you know, we can accommodate people or we can offer, I don't know, lifts. I don't know. But there's just a lot of people helping out, which is great. But it is a, a pretty hectic situation. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, and I help uh, same Ukrainian for. Um, Three SIM cards to travel in Germany. Ah, okay. So if, if they want to go from to here Germany, to Germany, yes, they get free SIM cards. Free SIM cards for oh. one month. Ah, ah okay. 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 And if there are a couple of uh, uh, companies around offering different SIM cards for different countries yes. as well. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. We're just looking we have at the a Germany. Polish cards, a Germany cards, and maybe other cards. Ah, I don't okay. Know. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're from Ukraine. I'm from Ukraine. Ah, okay. I'm from Kiev. You're from Kiev. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm from the prison service in Poland, and okay. we decided also to help right. because this situation is quite critical quite yeah. difficult so we have like warm meal for the for the people who are here bread some tea okay. and we just try to do anything to try and help can. as much as yeah, you can exactly. yeah yeah we are really overwhelmed with the people okay uh, the situation is quite difficult everyone is trying as we can yeah. there's lots of solidarity here yeah yeah uh, all hands on board i can say yeah yeah it's amazing to see how many people are have turned out to help yeah, Especially so from like, Poland. Oh, you know, anyone can, that can help is trying to help. Yeah. We are giving them home. We try to give them the food. Uh, it's a main station. They are waiting for the buses, for the trains to okay, move yeah. on, go further. Yeah. But our city is really overwhelmed. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
my god. What, what's your name? Charis. Uh, and where are you from? Uh, England. England, okay. So yeah. did you travel all the way out here to, to volunteer to help? I did, yeah. I'm ah. just taking a week off work so I could come and help. Oh wow, that's yeah. amazing. And what's the organisation that you're you're involved with? I'm on my own. Oh, you just come on your own? I just got a flight. Oh, okay, wow. And many people come to us and everything has stuff like uh, uh, toothbrushes uh, or uh, tissues. See a lot of baby uh, supplies, nappies yeah. and parasites and stuff. Sweets for babies and many, many things. We were, uh, besides the Caritas, we are um, attending uh, the some foundation, uh, exactly. Oh, okay, yeah, the organization, uh, okay. Foundation, uh, um, which was started by uh, John Paul II. All right, okay. okay. Yeah, and we, we are we were here to help, and we, we like uh, to help people yeah. and to share what we have and to share the love, yeah? Yeah. I flew in from Canada, right, took okay. a month off. Right. And I came here because okay. I, I, I looked at the map and I knew I was also at a couple of the border crossings. We delivered some medical supplies. We delivered some personal hygiene supplies. Right. And then we came in here because we knew a lot of the refugees were winding up here. Okay. This is kind of the closest railway station to where they're coming out, the corridor. Okay. Right? They're, all, they're all funneling through the west mm -hmm. because that's safest. This is the closest major city railway station okay. to that corridor. So I just came here. Okay and uh, found one of the people in a yellow vest, wanted to volunteer. And, and the people under the blue banner, that's where, uh, that's where I'm, who I'm volunteering for. Okay. And me and, uh, when I was flying over here, I was in uh, Munich and I ran into an American guy that was coming okay. here to do the same thing. So really? we're just splitting a hotel room, just kind of a, a couple wow. of tram stops down the road. Wow. And that's all we do. We come here every day and okay. we just hand out food. And really? And uh, the refugees are coming in here by the hundreds of thousands. And right, okay. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, a train comes, there's many people who need to take uh, some stuff or they need uh, to take it. I saw it on TV and I just, yeah. you see the news and you just want to help, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I've only come for a week, so I came right. on Wednesday. Right. Um, I just had a day trip somewhere, then I started yesterday volunteering. Yeah. So I decided to come to the railway station because I assume that's where everyone will be coming. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, nobody seemed to know yeah. anything about it at my hotel. I don't know why. Right, okay, um, yeah. So when I got here, I just inquired and then I got directed to this this place here. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. This is my first day. Oh, okay. Because, oh, okay. uh, you know, I studied and stuff and I got free time to, uh, today so uh, I can be volunteered here today. Okay. Uh, and I. To be honest, I'm impressed how many people need help and, yeah. and how many people help us and bring yeah. uh, sorry, item to Yeah, yeah, yeah. People. The response from Polish people has been amazing. A lot of help from, yeah. from people in Poland. Yeah, many people in Poland, uh, in Poland help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the need is absolutely insane. So, uh, it's, but it's amazing, right? So, as fast as we can hand the food out, Polish people are bringing more food in. So, yeah, yeah. And, and even even just walking around with this bin, I'll be distributing food. Yeah. And Polish people are coming up to me and dumping food in, in as yeah, I'm yeah. handing it out. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, so people are just constantly coming in and donating food. Oh, I, I have a lot of Polish people approaching me, asking me what's popular, what the people need, what they want, okay, what okay. type of supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. thing. There's people all day long coming Can't and dropping stuff off you, you can't believe the amount of produce that's here you yeah, know? yeah 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 as soon as it comes it goes again you know right, there's so okay, many yeah. people it's and it's just different supplies that they're bringing like like everything, everything. yeah sandwiches there's bags and bags of sandwiches there's sanitary products there's baby food there's drinks there's fruit there's cake yeah and then uh, you there's did... even pet food and bowls which are going around the corner yeah, yeah people are like bringing them, yeah. dog leads and, yeah, yeah yeah we have a storefront just up in the next mezzanine okay uh where people are are kind of able to sleep um, right okay it's not beds or anything yeah, right? okay, it's a, yeah, yeah. a blanket on the on the ground it's yeah. a piece of foam if you're lucky okay uh you see the little alcoves like in there right you'll, you'll find a, a lot of families are, are kind of 
Uh, see, what's happening is, is the men aren't coming. The men must stay in Ukraine and fight. Okay. It's all women and children. Right. So what happens is, is you'll find, you know, a woman with three children, and she's got three suitcases. Okay. So while we're handing the food out up there, a lot of the women can't leave their children and their luggage to go get the food. Yeah, yeah. So they're literally stuck in that corner. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we've got to get the food to them. I see, right? I see, so I see. Around with just baskets and I, and I, well, well, we are. Uh, so a lot of the people that are mobile, they'll come and get the food up there. But to get it to the, the, the women with a lot of children and, yeah. and a lot of luggage, we've got to get it to them. Okay, so, I get you, yeah, yeah. So. People from all over. I know, I, I, I spoke to a lad from South Korea. There was a guy here from New, New York yesterday. It was his, he came to see relatives and had one day left of his holiday. Okay. So he decided to help. Um, there's a guy from America, he lives in Cyprus. Uh, there's a guy from Wales. Yeah. There's people from yeah, yeah. all over. Just yeah, yeah. It's amazing you know, the way people just come, come together, together, isn't it? Yeah, just yeah, to help, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's incredible. Fly you you flew over as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's because, crazy. Um, my fiance is Polish American, so I, I speak some Polish. I studied okay. Russian in university, so right, okay. It seems like a pretty easy decision considering yeah. my language skills. I feel like I can also say. Yeah, yeah. it up what do we have here we were in the train station and we seen what people were sort of donating and what's needed so we got like some baby supplies we got like nappies and some baby wipes mm. there's some little packs of tissues we also got some a lot of people have pets so yeah. we got some dog food cat food okay yeah so we are loaded up ready to make the trip down to the border hello Ten czerwony samochód jedzie na granicę ten o jedźcie za nim okay no za nim jedźcie ja yeah. mówiłam Jedźcie za nim, bo on jedzie i jedzenie wiecie. No okay. jedźcie za nim. Thank you, thank you very much. Families are coming in and they're with soldiers. So I think what's happening is uh, the soldiers are meeting them at the at the entrance, basically once they cross the border, and then they're ushering them out. So this is as far as you can go. Once you go through them gates, then you'll be entering the border, crossing into Ukraine. So they're obviously coming out of this way. Yeah, we should. 